everyone. Good morning and welcome to our time of worship. It's lovely to be with you once again. Let us prepare for our time of worship by thinking and reflecting about our symbols. First of all, we place the Bible and we think of God the Father and we say, Father, we are here. We are here for you. Think and reflect about the cross and how Jesus died on the cross for us. And as I place the cross, we say, Jesus, we are here. We are here for you. I've actually already lit our candle because I wasn't very sure whether it was going to light, to be honest. So you can just about see it flickering there within the circle of friends holding hands. And so as we look at the candle, we say, Holy Spirit, we are here. We are here for you. Now, you might notice something very exciting at the side here. I have two special presents. I wonder if I'm going to open them. You'll have to wait and see. Someone has been very generous. Someone has gift made me, created me a gift, has given me a gift. They have been generous. And I'm going to tell you a story now about a time when I was a little girl, a young girl, and I was at school. It's a long, long time ago. But when I was at school, I remember something happened. I had a very special friend and my very special friend was called Joy. And Joy used to sometimes go shopping with her dad. And one day she came along and she said, wow, you'll never guess what. I have bought my mum a present. I have bought her a special, special gift. I have bought her a necklace and some flowers and some chocolates and a huge big card because it's her birthday. And Dad came with me and helped me. I am going to be so generous and my mum is going to love me so much because of everything I have given her. That caused me a little bit of worry. You see, I hadn't got a lot of money myself and I hadn't got a dad who could come with me at that time to go shopping. And if I had, I wouldn't have been able to afford the gifts that Joy had bought for her mum. But what I did do when I got home was go to my room. My dad came upstairs and said, what's the matter? What's wrong? I said, well, my friend Joy at school, she's been shopping with her dad and they've bought a necklace and they've bought some flowers and they've bought some chocolate and they've bought some a, a card for her mum and I haven't got anything for my mum. My dad looked at me and he said, don't worry, your mum doesn't need those things at the moment. But there is something you could do. And he whispered in my ear. I had an idea then from my dad and what I did I went downstairs and I got some paper and I got some crayons and an envelope 
and I went back up to my step upstairs to my bedroom and I created a very special card for my mum so that she would know that I loved her very, very much. When I took it downstairs and gave her the envelope, she looked at this card with very special eyes and she said, wow, who could have got this? Who could have made it? I said, it was, it was me. It was me, Mum. I made it. I made it especially for you. She opened it up and she read the words and she saw the kisses and my name. And she gave me a huge big hug. And she said, that is the most wonderful gift I could ever have had. And it's just what I need to put on my mantelpiece. And that's where it went. And that's where it stayed. So, as lovely as bought things are, and they can be, just remember, your gifts don't have to cost a huge amount of money. The gift of love and friendship, the care involved in making something special yourself, is enough. Now, I found a Bible reading, a Bible verse in Luke 6, verse 38. And it said, give and it will be given to you. And what Jesus was telling us then is that if you give love, if you give friendship, if you give kindness, if you give care, then those things will be given to you. Yes, bought things are really, really nice, but they're not the most important things. Think, God created this wonderful world in which we live, and that is an amazing gift as well. And he created each of us so think about God's generosity. It's now our time for reflection. Take a few moments. We have so much to be thankful for. Is there any way that you could be more generous, more giving? And don't forget that doesn't have to cost money. Could you give more in a different way? And now I invite you to join me in prayer. So we're going to close our eyes if you wish, put your hands together or have a little look at the dwindling candlelight there. And we join together in prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your generosity. We have food, we have clothes, we have toys, we have homes, we have people who care for us. We pray for those who have less than we do and we thank you for all your generous gifts to us. Amen. Let us now join together to say the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you've enjoyed this morning's Christian value, thinking and reflecting about generosity. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Take care. Goodbye. <music>